I'm very excited to introduce a seven-year-old guest drawer today called Charles. He'll be taking you through drawing a basic puppy shelter. And in next week's tutorial, I'll show you how to supersize it and add all kinds of rooms and details. Here's Charles, hard at work putting on his finishing touches. He first starts by drawing a splat cube. Remember to hold the splat at the top and then draw blip to blip. Don't forget about the centre splat there. Step two, slide the splat up until the point is at the top of the line and draw in two more edges. These are the edges that are pointing towards you. Step three, rotate, line up those corners carefully as you can and draw in the far edges that are pointing away from you. Halfway along that line, Charles is drawing a little dot or a mark. He's doing the same thing on the far edge. Now it's time for Charles to draw in the roof. He's going to position the splat on those two dots and he's using the edge and the center splat to draw two vertical or straight up and down lines. One, two. Tall lines will mean a tall roof. Shorter lines will be a shorter roof. The next thing he's going to do is to join them together with something straight like a piece of Lego or a rule. He's placing a dot. That'll be the center or the top of the roof and another dot on the edge of the cube. Now use your rule to join those together with the line. And we're going to make a copy of that line at the far edge. So join that dot to the cube, roof to the cube, connect them with a rule. You could design your roof to be made out of whatever material you like. We're just going to go plain today. Now the other side of the roof is at a different slope. It just looks different in 3D. It's actually the same slope if you're looking straight on. So connect those two dots there and boom, that's looking really good Charles, well done. Place your splat back in the original position and trace a full ellipse. Now Charles needs to cut this in half, but where? Here's the trick. Put a halfway mark up the side of the cube. And we're going to use the splat to help us cut this circle in half. Line the point up with that halfway mark and lightly draw a line across. We'll be rubbing it out later. So Charles knows that to use just half the circle, find where the line crosses the circle, those two points. And that's where he needs to drop some lines down to make the arch shape. Now he's lined it up with one dot and joins it to the bottom. On the other side, he's using the edge of the cube to line up the splat. He's on a little bit of an angle there, but he straightens it up a bit. Well done, Charles. Wow. Awesome, now he's rubbing out the bottom half of the circle he doesn't need anymore. And then he knows to firm in. He's got a pretty good idea now of what the shape looks like. So he's using heavier lines. We say firming in. And there's the arch shape. It still looks really thin. That second line makes it look like it's made out of something thicker like timber. Go right. Here's how to draw a puppy dog. Start off with that line that you rubbed out. You can just see. I'm going to use it to draw the nose of the dog. It's a really simple dog. Looks like a person with no arms and lots of dots each side where his arms should be. Draw a circle close in. Now for the eyes. Draw a big arch and a little one. And right beside that, same again. For the head, draw a line that goes right around those. Now some ears. You're going to make them look like eye strips. One, two. For the chest, copy that little line there down a bit further and then each side a little blip kind of looks like little puppy feet and you can put spots and that's an amazing job Charles well done I can see some wood grain and a rug in there 
Don't forget to catch next week's tutorial and we're going to go crazy with doghouse ideas. Enjoy. Bye.